the average black person has been taught. We've been systematically taught that a white supremacist is a guy who wears a hood and marches down the street saying, you know, use an N-word all day. I mean, and he's got on a robe and he's burning a cross. And that's a white supremacist. And the other white people who are white supremacists wearing a suit and tie will stand right next to a black person and say, there they go, those Ku Kluxes. These are the people who are causing all of the racial problems in the world. There they go, all six of them. And if we just keep con- those six under control, everything will just be rosy. Everybody will be happy, black and white together. I'm standing right next to you. But those people that I'm pointing at, going down that avenue with all those swash speakers on and with those hoods on, those are the white supremacists. Let's see. How many of them is it? Uh, let's see. It looks like it's about 12 or 15. <laughs> These are the ones who are causing all of the racial problems in the world. Now, so if we keep our eye on them, you know, and you help me to do it, we won't have any racial problems at all. And, and that person, that person standing right next to you is the most skilled of the white supremacists, most likely. And that's what a white supremacist is. That's what we are taught in the schools and whatnot. Oh, the Ku Klux Klan, the Nazi Party. Oh, yeah, how much? Well, it must be about at least 300 of them by now, you know. <laughs> but we're keeping an eye on them. And if we just keep an eye on them and keep them in jail and keep them harassed and all like that, then there will be no racism rearing this ugly head.